Hey, good afternoon. It's Wednesday, November 22nd. And welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. So great to have you here today. Just one more day before Thanksgiving. And we're going to continue talking about what we most need to be most thankful for. What we have been made to do in Christ. We have a ton of stuff to be grateful for. A little windy here, so you might see the camera moving a bit. We have a lot of things to be thankful for. But none of it matters. Except for this one great thing. It's what we talked about yesterday. We have been made righteous in Christ. My sins no longer have to control me. Yesterday we had the heavy cloud cover and... Uh, we had that contrast talking about glorious things and the heavy weather over it. Well, today, as you can see, it's beautiful sky, getting ready for sunset. You can see the sun behind me getting ready. Up there is the moon, just gorgeous. On this, it's, I just can't believe how beautiful it is. And what a beautiful setting to talk about what we have been made to be. The thumbnail today says that we have been made righteous. And that's by the sacrifice of Christ. We need to fight for that. We need to fight to be who we are. Let me read 2 Corinthians for you again. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. That is just mind-blowing. So that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And again, the wind isn't random. That's the Spirit of God blowing. It's his breath. It's such a powerful demonstration of the wonder of God. I'm going to thank God for sending the winters at this moment. We have been made to be the righteousness of God because Jesus died for us. Jesus became sin. It took all the punishment that I deserved, that you deserved. So the end result is that we Become the righteousness of God. What that means for my everyday life is this. See, sometimes we think we have to fight to be good. We think we have to fight to attain goodness. But that's got it mixed up. I fight because I have been made righteous. Doesn't mean I don't sin, but it means that when God looks at me, he doesn't see my sin. He sees the righteousness of Christ. So I am fighting to be what Christ gave his life for me to be. You see the difference that makes? I don't have to feel like, oh, I just got to get better. I got to, I got to, I can just be a little bit better. If I to be a little bit harder. God has already done that good work in me. The, even, the reason I even want to be good it's because of what Jesus has done for me. Brothers and sisters, there is so much hope there for us. See, if I'm battling every day trying to be good enough, trying to be acceptable, trying to make things okay, I'm doing God's work. It's already been done for us in Christ. Because when God looks at me, the declarations of the righteousness of Christ is already there. I've been declared righteous because of what Jesus did, because he took my punishment. It's such a beautiful, powerful statement. But it has everything to be. When you and I face a particular problem, say someone is difficult, hard to live with, I can live according to Christ. If I have to, if I have to stand up to that person, if I have to call the authorities, if I have to stand up for his right, I can do that because of what God, it's what God wants me to do. But most of the time, I can return good for evil. I can speak a pleasant word. 
not to earn anything, not to make somebody else like me, because this is what God has called me to do. It's what he's made me to do. I need to be able to fight to be who I am. 2 Corinthians 5 is alluding to the battle that is raging. We see it in Romans 8. We see it in Galatians 5. There's this battle right being waged between the Spirit of God and our flesh. Our flesh wants to remind us of what we were. That's what we talked about yesterday. The Spirit of God is telling us, be who you are. Use the weapons of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Those are the real power weapons of the Spirit of God, which I can now deploy because I have been made righteous in Christ. I can fight to be who I am. I don't have to fight to not be evil or wrong anymore. I fight to be who I am. That takes so much of the struggle of life away from us. I'm fighting because Jesus has won the victory, because his spirit now lives within me and within you. We are his temple. He resides within us. We can wage this war to bring honor to him. I don't have to let other people control me. I don't have to be good to other people to make them like me. I don't have to be a people pleaser so that they will accept me or God will accept me. I just have to be focused on fighting for who I am and let God take care of the results. That is so freeing. So this rich truth in 2 Corinthians 5.21 turns the tables upside down. I'm not fighting to become good. I'm not fighting to gain acceptance. I'm fighting to be who I am, to represent Christ well, to be his warrior in a battle that he has secured for us. That's my hope. It's not the hope of what I can do, because that's, that's discouraging. But it's a hope of what God has called me to do. That is such an encouragement. Again, give me some thoughts and feedback about this. We need to turn our thinking around. We need to fight to be who we are so we can represent Christ well. That's how we defeat the enemy. The enemy wants us to think we have to fight to be good. And when we fail, then we get all discouraged. I'll never be good enough. What God is telling us, we need to fight to who we are, for who we are. And if we struggle and fail at the moment, that doesn't change who I am. It gives me the courage to keep on fighting. You can overcome evil with good. You can be gracious. You can represent God well. Not out of weakness, but out of power. And the wonderfully aggressive, powerful weapons of the Spirit which the enemy has no, no answer for. That's what brings peace and hope. And what a great, great thought to go into Thanksgiving. I'll have a Thanksgiving video for you tomorrow. Again, thank you for being here. Love your comments, your feedback. This is so important for us. We've been made the righteousness of God. Let's fight to be who we are. Have a great evening, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.